Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 28th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the for loop in PHP. So I've got a file uh, open in my text editor. It's called for.php. On line number six in the file, I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 11, I have the closing PHP tag. And then I've got the for statement on line number seven. And uh, then uh, the opening curly brace for the body of the for loop on line number eight and the closing curly brace for the body on line number 10. I've got just one echo statement in the body of the loop. Unlike, uh, you know the script that we had in the last tutorial in which uh, we discussed the while loop in which there were three uh, statements you know one was uh, to display the value of the variable the other was to uh, have a break tag and the third statement was to update the value of the control variable for the loop right which was var in that case so the for loop uh, is kind of a versatile uh, loop in php and it allows you to do three things uh, in the for statement itself so the first thing, obviously, you know, it's allow it's it has to allow us to check uh, a test condition, and uh, you know you can do that. But apart from that, you can also initialize your control variable, and you could also update your control variable in the for statement itself. So this is something that we did in the body of the while loop in the last tutorial. You know, updating the uh, variable var. Remember, we use the post increment operator, and this is something that we did before we got in the while loop. Right before typing in the while statement, we uh, created the variable var and we gave it the value zero in the last script. So in the for statement, you can do this as well as test the value of the variable as well as update the value of the variable together, right? And uh, all you have to do is put a semicolon between, uh, you know, th the two things. So uh, between the initialization statement and the test statement, you have to have a semicolon between the test statement and the update statement you also have to have a semicolon so separate these three with semicolons and uh, you're good to go so what this allows you to do is you know just focus on the code that you want to execute so it takes your attention away from you know how you want to update the variable inside the body of the loop and you know where you want to initialize it it takes care of all of that in the for statement itself it allows you to focus on what you want to have in the body so you know that's why people some people prefer using the for loop and uh, let me show you guys the output of this file. I'll uh, go to my browser and request for for dot php. And there we go. We see numbers from starting from two, which is the initial value of the variable var, the control variable for the loop, till hundred. And that's because uh, the test condition that we have here is dollar var is less than or equal to hundred. So if I would uh, change this to uh, let's say twenty, and save the file and execute it again we see two four six eight so we see even numbers beginning from two to twenty right and we are seeing uh, numbers uh, as a count of two and not one because we are adding two to the value of the variable var after every iteration of the loop so after the, the during the first iteration the value of var is two you know after you know, after the first iteration before the second iteration uh, two is added to the value so var now becomes four and so on and so forth up to twenty so that's it about the for loop uh, we're going to check out the for each loop in the next tutorial and uh, thank you so much for watching this one i hope you guys had fun and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care